This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. A 20-year-old resident of Rubidine Lane, formerly charged with murder, and is tonight on remand at the Bahamas Department of Corrections. Standing before Magistrate Samuel McKinney in court number one this afternoon was Donovan Brennan, the alleged killer behind the March 7th shooting death of 37-year-old father of three, Alexander Bullard, a.k.a. Nunks. The incident happened on Ferguson and Augusta Streets. Brennan was not required to enter a plea to the crime. Bail was denied. He's to return to court May 30th at noon. Brennan was not represented by an attorney. The Easter Monday holiday marred by a drive-by shooting that's left five wounded, one in critical condition, and the gunman on the loose. Based on the details police have so far passed on to us, Four men and a woman were in a vehicle traveling west on Shirley Street from the Montague ramp after 9 last night when a gunman exited a white Ford escape and opened fire. Now, the five injured were rushed to hospital where at last report the four men were in stable condition. The woman, however, is fighting for her life. Investigations are ongoing. Last night's shooting followed two separate homicides. Shortly after 12 a.m. Monday, police responded to Foster Street, Chippingham, following reports of a man being shot. Efforts to revive the victim were unsuccessful. Six hours prior, a man was shot and killed on Bonefish Pond off Cowpen Road. Police are appealing to anyone with information on any of the matters to call into the Central Detective Unit as soon as possible. In other news from the police this evening, a woman is dead after being struck by a bus late Saturday night. Police tell us a man was driving a Toyota Coaster bus north on Blue Hill Road in the area of Wellington Street around 11 p.m. when he knocked a female pedestrian. The woman was taken to hospital where she died. Investigations are ongoing. Search efforts continue for missing boater James Green, but no telling how long that will remain the case. At last report, Green's vessel had been recovered, but that's it. Green, a resident of Sandy Point, Abaco, was last seen on Tuesday on a 17-foot open hull boat. Since then, there's been extensive search efforts by a U.S. Coast Guard helicopter and a Defense Force aircraft. So we've gone as far north as the southern and the eastern portions of the Bahama. To the west, we've also covered the eastern portions of the Berries, and of course the entire, pretty much southwest and southern portions of mainland Abaco, including surrounding Key and the areas of the West, including the area um, near Castle Key, which believe uh, the event would have occurred. We've pretty much saturated that entire area, those entire areas, and uh, we continue to conduct our search today um, until the climate decision is uh, directed otherwise. According to Defense Force officer in charge of dive operations, Sean Pinder, there's also been help from family members and volunteers. With all these uh, combination of uh, assets involved and resources committed, and not forgetting, of course, the most recent system prior to the holidays that passed through the area of funnel system that really impacted um, the area. And so what we wanted to do, and we continue to have a search going on to ensure that there's a full saturation and the effort is comprehensive. And uh, when the command defense force decides upon the suspension or any other changes to the operation, you will direct me until then and we continue our search. Again, anyone with information on Green's whereabouts is urged to call the defense force at 424-9414 or the police at 328-8477. Mangrove Key residents shouldn't expect a new clinic until 2021 or 2022. This as the existing clinic has been operating out of a rental facility for quite some time now. The facility um, um, is more than a year before construction is going to be finished. You're talking about a multi-story, uh, multiple thousands of square feet health facility which is basically now just a shell. Now, a few months back, Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands toured the facility along with area MP Pinesville Forbes. Dr. Sands estimates the cost of the new clinic will exceed $2 million. Our final story is up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.